Hi, it's Tracy. G'day and that's Elsie. And welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are gonna show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. I actually have never seen this view of the daytime. I've only done it for nights and a lot of lights. So this is amazing. Check it out. It's Hong Kong. Okay, so we've just arrived at the Pearl Street Market in Beijing. How exciting. There's John. Hey. 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 It's a bit cold here today. I know, we're going to have so much fun buying some things and doing some shopping. Okay, so we're here in the VIP room and we've just been delivered an amazing amount of food. And here's all the family. Look at this, all gathered around the table. And there's John. Hey, hey, I'm just cleaning my, uh, my cleaning utensils here because it's very important that when you get these ones, you just give them a bit of a clean because you don't want to get any splinters of that in your mouth. I mean, look at this stuff. This one here is local food. What's this one called, my mate? It's called Shankoyogi. Okay, that means it's yummy. Okay. <laughs> Then, then we've got some cabbage, we've got some obviously some broccoli, some mousy dung. That's and then, oh, that's potato, not cabbage. Uh, some mousy dung. And that one over there that you can see uh, where Hunchin is, that actually is Kung Pao chicken. Can you point to that, Amy, please? That one there is Kung Pao chicken. So that one doesn't go anywhere near my belly because that will upset my bottom terribly. So we're going to eat in before, we, before I go out on stage. Okay, here inside the museum, and look at my new friend. How cool is he? You can ask him a question, but it's got to be in Chinese, and I'm not quite sure if I can read the Chinese, but I'll wait for somebody who can, and then we'll see what he says. Okay, so we're here, and we're watching this amazing game called Bottle Flipping. What do you think about this game? It's nice. It's, it's very fidgety. It is fidgety. Check this out. Oh, oh he's very good at this game. Down. Okay. Yeah. Look at that! That's awesome! Uh, Elaine and I, we are here at the Big Pizza at the um, Science and Technology Museum. Anyway, guess what we just found? We found chip, chip pizza. pizza. Look at this! A durian pizza. I know. Roast beef durian. I can't believe it. Check this out. Oh my god. How good is this? <laughs> hey, made it here to the China Science and Technology Museum today. This place is going to be great. Just come in through the entry and look at this sculpture. Unbelievable. I reckon there's going to be a lot of stuff here to do today. A lot of interactive things, things that we can share. Okay, so we're wrapping up a day. We're walking on our exit outside the museum. It's been a wonderful, wonderful day has been had with everybody. And look at this piece of equipment behind me. Absolutely amazing fun with a lot of great kids and fantastic adult company. And the things that we've seen and the things that we've done has been absolutely awesome. And here's my new little friend Dimples. How cool is he? And my other big mate. There he is with the coolest of jackets. Look at, look at this hood. Wow. Too cool. Spider-Man in the making. Good morning. Well, have I got news for everybody today. If you jump onto the John Cooters YouTube channel, you can subscribe and then you can buy some product, mainly a T-shirt. And on the back, look at that. How awesome are these? And the writing is Mail Book and None, which is nothing is impossible. We're here and we are going to have a beautiful dinner here with some VIP people tonight in this amazing place that is a replica of the... Of the Forbidden City in Beijing. 
that is going to be awesome. We're here. We arrived at night time tonight. So I'm hoping that by the time we get here tomorrow again for the seminar, that we'll be able to see the building and see how well they're constructed and, and see and get the vibe for the place. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Yes. I think it's going to be absolutely yes. awesome fun tomorrow. Okay, so walk to the train station here in Beijing. Just about to go down and get on to a train. They actually call them subways. So I can't wait. We'll post on the other side. <laughs> Bye, new experience. Look how steep this travelator is. Insane. So steep. Hi, we're back at the railway station. Now, a good question was asked as to why the train has this barrier. The reason it has the barrier here is a lot of people were getting pushed onto the tracks in front of the trains because of the crowds trying to get on and off these trains. So uh, they've built the barriers to keep everybody a lot more safer. Great thinking, China. Well done. So I'm on the train or the, the subway, as they call it here, and uh, first time ever I've been on a train in, in China. This is pretty cool. Look at this, it's pretty packed. So it's. Um, I don't know how long our journey will take us, but how exciting is this? This is pretty cool. And we're outside, but hear those beautiful chimes. It's the bells, the clock tower. The other thing is, is that in Australia, where we come from, when you see this, see the little red flag there, that means follow the flag. So if you're on a tour group, this is what you do. You follow the flag, follow the flag. So I wonder, if I jumped in there, would they let me be a part of their tour group? How good is this place, the food mall? Incredible, lots of people, lots of smells, lots of food. Here's Thomas and I, and we just got these egg rolls off a street um, vendor. I'm first time ever. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh my god. This is so good. It's crunchy, and we got a bag full. Oh, you know what would be good? For $2. Ice cream and chocolate syrup in this, it'd be an ecstasy roll. Oh my God, it's so good. Hey, so we've come down to the food market just down here in um, Beijing. And here's some scorpion. And they're still alive, so. Okay, so we're just up in the beautiful food market here in Beijing. And as you've seen, there's live scorpions, dead scorpions, fried scorpions, fried cockroach, everything else. We got hungry, so we decided that we are going to eat. Cheers, Thomas. Yo. Vegetables, that's Spring the way roll. to go. Oh, oh, wow. That's nice, right? right? Yeah. We can survive this. Mm -hmm. So this is a barbecue store. They're selling. Yang rou means lamb, new rou means beef, lu uh, rou means donkey. Thomas, which one is the donkey? Can you point to it? This is donkey, donkey on a stick. Oh, it's very expensive. Yeah. Donkey is most expensive one, 20 yuan. That's cute. Donkey is more expensive, but I've eaten donkey skin, and let me tell you, it's not pleasant. And I found this amazing young man purchased some scorpion, some grasshopper, and a centipede on a stick. Now he's going to eat this and demonstrate the best way to eat this. Go. Hey. Oh, no. Still good? Tastes good? What's it taste like? Tastes good. Yeah? Is it um, good? I think you should try it. Oh, you think I should try it? Yep. Well, we hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you there. Cheers.